Hi everybody, my name is Chris Conley. I'm a professional motion picture and television editor and recently my wife and I have been paying to have developed a, a mobile app which we hope to re release in the next month. And one of the things that I will need to do when we release this app is both promotional and explainer videos in multiple languages. So to accomplish that, I've started to investigate uh, artificial intelligence text-to-speech apps, and I've ultimately settled on two, which I went ahead and bought licenses for. Um, I purchased them myself. These aren't uh, in any way sponsored. And each of these, I thought, had its own strengths and weaknesses and could be used for various aspects of what I need to do. The other thing that appealed to me about both of them is that they each have a lifetime license. So while they weren't necessarily the cheapest up front, um, you won't have to ever worry about a recurring monthly or annual fee. So uh, with no further ado, let's just move on. I've already done a video on the first package, which is called Synthesis AI Studio. You can find that on my channel, or if I can figure it out, I'll put a link somewhere. And then the second package is Human Pal, which is what we're looking at in this video. So I'm going to use the same script that I used on the Synthesis AI package, and I'll do the similar thing. <clears throat> I'll pick an avatar, have them read the script, and I'll do English, German, and French so that you can kind of do an apples-to-apples -apples comparison between the two. So here we go. Um, right off the bat, this is the user interface for HumanPal, and the thing that's different about this is it's kind of set up for flashy promo videos, and it has all kinds of uh, templates, which is one of the things I liked about it. I won't necessarily use it all the time, but on the things for like when I'm doing promo or I need something that's a little flashy and I got to get it out quickly, this appealed to me. Uh, for today. Uh, just for purposes of kind of doing an apples to apples comparison, I'm just going to stick with like a green screen. So we'll just pick the green screen to get started. Within there, you have a couple options. I'm just going to go with the basic green screen so it'll be as close to what we did in synth synthesis as possible. So we'll just move forward. <clears throat> and then like the other package, you pick a avatar. And there are a fair number. I like the diversity, different types of dress. Um, you know, different professions, all kinds of things represented here. Probably not as many as the other app, but um, it's still a fair number. So let's just get the ball rolling. We'll pick Chris, casual, why not? And then it's similar to the other one. You're going to have a put a script in here. So let me copy the text that I used in the other app. And we'll put that in here. And then you need to pick a voice. So there's, you know, a fair number of voices that you can listen to. Um, I'll play a couple here just so you can hear them. And some of these are not great, but strangely, some of them work better with different material. <laughs> so you do have to spend a little bit of time messing with it, but I'll just go down the list here a little bit. Hello. You can pick me as your spokesperson for your next project. That sounds a little robotic to me. Hello. You can pick me as your spokesperson for your next project. That sounds like a little kid. Hello. You can pick me as your spokesperson for your... That also sounds like a kid. And then this next one is the one I actually like, and we're probably going to just use it for this example. Hello. You can pick me as your spokesperson for your next project. It's fairly natural, and it sounds... Sounds good. It's got a nice, pleasing sound. All right. Um... Like the other app, you can speed it up or ch change the pitch a little bit. Um, and I had actually pretty good luck with this when I was playing with it, but for today, I'm just going to leave it alone. We'll leave it on the default setting. So we'll play this script so that you can hear it. Welcome to HumanPal Text-to-Speech. We plan on using this software to generate explainer videos in multiple languages to support the upcoming release of our new app. It's exciting to be able to quickly and easily have the same avatar speak in several languages. That doesn't sound too bad. We'll just move forward. Now, what this app does is it actually breaks your script into 100 character or less sentences, which it calls scenes. And I'm not exactly sure why it does it, but 
in practical application, it allows those templates that we talked about earlier to be more useful because each of these scenes ends up allowing you to edit whatever the editable elements are in that template for each individual scene or line. So <clears throat> if, you're, if you're using one of those templates, you can fly in different images or graphics or whatever. We're really not using a template, so it's kind of meaningless in this context. We're just up against a green screen, but that's why it does what it does. All right, so we don't have any uh, images or anything to put in the background, so we'll just leave that alone. And then what it does is, because you're typically working with a template, it kind of renders a preview where you can put whatever graphics you want into each of those scenes. We're not going to have anything to put in there, so these are all just going to be green screens. I'm just going to skip this. But if you were using a template, this is where you could go to each one of these, and you could put a different element in. Some of those had uh, like a video screen in the background or a, some kind of a flying this or that or text elements. This is the part of the uh, UI where you would make those changes or edit those elements. And then we'll just call this, uh, let's call it Human Pal English. We'll pick a resolution. I'll go 1080p. And you have to uh, agree to the terms and then you can send it to render. Now this app does take a while to render. So uh, when I get these three videos rendering, I'll pause it and step away. And when they're done, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and download them and play them like I did in the other video so that everybody can compare them. So while it's rendering, we'll jump over and create another one. So I'm just gonna go down and try and remember exactly what I did last time. Uh, we just did the straight green screen. Uh, I think we used Chris Casual, and I believe I used Matthew. Put the same <clears throat> script in here, and to do unlike the other one, I don't believe that I have to play it before I can render it. But what I do need to do this time is pick a different language. So let's do the German, and we'll tell it to translate. And then we'll pick our uh, voice that we want to use for German. Hallo. Sie können mich als Ihren Sprecher für Ihr nächstes Pro... Hallo. Sie können mich als Ihren Sprecher für Ihr nächstes... Hallo. Sie können mich als Ihren Sprecher für Ihr nächstes... Eh, kind of like Jonas. So we'll use that. And let's see here. Willkommen bei Human Pal Text to Speech. Wir planen, diese Software zu verwenden, um Erklärvideos in mehreren Sprachen. All right, so that actually sounds pretty good, but you know what? I might speed, I might speed that one up just a tad. Let's see how. Willkommen bei Human Pal Text to Speech. Wir planen, diese Software zu verwenden, um. All right, I'm gonna go with that. So once again, it breaks them into these uh, scenes, but we don't really care because we're just doing the green screen. I'm just gonna continue. And I'm going to continue past this because we don't have any elements to edit. And we'll call this <clears throat> Human Pal German. And once again, 1080p, so they match. And we'll send that to render. And then lastly, we'll jump over and we'll do the same thing in French so that we can see how these look and give them an apples to apples comparison. So we'll pick the green screen. Uh, let's pick Chris Casual again. Uh, and this time we're going to go French. French, let's see what kind of voices we might have here. Bonjour, vous pouvez me choisir comme porte-parole pour votre prochain projet. Bonjour, vous pouvez me choisir. Bonjour, vous pouvez me choisir comme porte-parole. Bonjour, vous pouvez me choisir comme porte-parole. Bonjour, vous pouvez me choisir comme. Bonjour, vous pouvez me choisir. I don't know, I kind of like. Kind of like Enzo, actually. So I'm going to pick him, <clears throat> but I might speed him up, actually, a little bit, too. Let's put our text in here, and we'll translate it. Bienvenue dans la synthèse vocale Human Pal. Nous prévoyons d'utiliser ce logique. All right, I don't speak French, but to me that sounds fairly natural, so we'll just move on. Once again, we'll 
go right down the list here. We don't have anything to edit. All right, skip this. Uh, and we will call, let's see, we'll call this human pal French. Navy P. And we'll send that to render. <clears throat> now, the last time I did this, it took like 40 minutes. This app definitely takes longer to render than the synthesis AI app does. So I'm going to go ahead and just pause. And when they're done, I'll come back and, and we'll run them so that we can, uh, so that you'll have something to compare. Okay. Okay, so the renders have completed and it actually took about 38 minutes to do these three videos. So that's longer than the other app but uh, again the you know the results speak for themselves so um, let's just play them we'll play English German and French just so <clears throat> you can do a comparison here's the English one first welcome to human pal text-to-speech we plan on using this software to generate explainer videos in multiple languages to support the upcoming release of our new app it's exciting to be able to quickly and easily have the same avatar speak in several languages all right here's uh German one. Willkommen bei Human Pal Text to Speech. Wir planen, diese Software zu verwenden, um Erklärvideos in mehreren Sprachen zu erstellen, um die bevorstehende Veröffentlichung unserer neuen App zu unterstützen. Es ist spannend, denselben Avatar schnell und einfach in mehreren Sprachen sprechen zu lassen. And here is the French version. <coughs> Bienvenue dans la synthèse vocale Human Pal. Nous prévoyons d'utiliser ce logiciel pour générer des vidéos explicatives en plusieurs langues afin de prendre en charge la prochaine version de notre nouvelle application. C'est excitant de pouvoir faire parler rapidement et facilement le même avatar dans plusieurs langues. So, again, they're not perfect, but if you're in a situation where you need to do multilingual videos and you can't afford A, a translator for every language, and B, voice over talent, for every language, it's surprisingly uh, sufficient. <laughs> and again, if you have your own material in the background to uh, augment these avatars, I think they're actually quite worth the, uh, the money. So I guess that's it. Um, I hope again that it helps somebody who's trying to research these and uh, and decide between them or if they're uh, of use. Uh, I guess that's it.